Hi, my name is Dominique and I'm the founder of a company called WIT. We are a company specialized in contract and vendor management. Now, very often clients ask to me, where exactly in my company should I position my vendor and contract management organization? Well, the answer is unfortunately not one size fits all. Now, let's think about it. In a traditional organization, you have very often your traditional business unit. Let me give you an example. You have your HR division where you would have an HR manager and they would be having an HR process together with an HR tool that supports the process. Same for your sales. You have a sales manager, you have a sales process, and you have your sales software in support of that process. And I could go on for a while about that. Now, when I would ask you, who would be your vendor relation manager? What would be the process? And where in the organization would that reside? That would be a difficult question for many organizations. Positioning the vendor and contract management organization into your organizational structure can be done in multiple ways. On the one hand, you have to ask the question, what will be the role of your vendor management organization? And that could vary from what we call a sharing of best practices, where the vendor management office would more be a supporting vendor management role that would leave a lot to the contract owner and a lot to the relationship owner within the business. And on the other side of the spectrum, you have typically a leading VMO that will consolidate quite a bit of the contract management sites and quite a bit of the relationship management responsibilities. In between, we have something we call a controlling vendor management office. And that would typically have the power of the contract management side, but leave the relationship management responsibilities within the contract owner. And that's quite an important question to ask yourself in your company, what will be the role of the vendor management office? Because that will be important to identify what type of personnel you want to have in that vendor management office. Secondly, you have to ask yourself the question, will I have more a virtual vendor management office or will I have a reporting lined vendor management office? With the first, I mean that typically you can organize yourself through meetings, through sessions, through calls. On the other hand, you have a um, business unit vendor management office that would be led by a sourcing manager or vendor manager that would be reporting into the proper reporting lines of the organization. Now, as a company, and as we are specialized in this domain, we can for sure assist you in identifying where in your company you would have positioned your vendor management office and how you would have to set it up with which profiles and which professionals.